IA firms and adjusters. I'm talking to both of you guys today. Adjusters, wouldn't it be great if there's one place where you could get on all the IA firm rosters at the same time? Kind of like a universal roster. And if a firm has some claims in your area for somebody with your skill set, then could deploy you even if you're not already on their roster. I mean, wouldn't that be like literally the best thing ever for us? But it gets better. So IA firms, how much do you spend every year building and maintaining your roster? What if there was a place that could help you manage your adjuster compliance without a patchwork of different softwares and documents and emails? In other words, what if you could streamline your HR and roster management? And not only that, but have access to thousands of new adjusters and new talent and new resources that you would have to spend probably tens of thousands of dollars in recruiting to find on your own. Do I have your attention? You're watching the Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance of our own. Get the free guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by the IA firm CCMS and Associates. To apply to this fast growing and innovative firm, email your resume to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV and if you're new here and you want YouTube to always show you the latest on Adjuster TV, then you gotta subscribe. If you're a new or even experienced adjuster, there's a good chance that you wanna to try to increase your work opportunities, right? One way to do that is to explore other IA firms and get on multiple rosters. If you're a daily adjuster, in many places, it's almost mandatory to be on several different rosters at the same time. But man, what a pain to keep your profile current on 10 different rosters or more. You just renewed 18 adjuster licenses and now you have to go into 10 different firm adjuster portals and upload that information. I mean, that kind of thing can take all afternoon. In this video, I chat with Rich Maring, the founder of a new company called Adjuster Portal. And I think you're gonna wanna watch this one all the way through. At the end, I'll give you a tour of the Adjuster Portal dashboard, including how to sign up and all the screens and all the things that you can put in there. And here's my interview with Rich. If you could just kind of give us a description of the Adjuster Portal and what it is, why you guys created it, and kind of how it works. Thank you for having me. I've been an adjuster since 2009, but I've been a technologist since 1976. So I've been, you know, kind of pulling double duty with that. Um, after Irma in 2017, having, you know, over the years seen my own struggles as an adjuster with trying to keep everybody updated. We're on all these different firms' rosters, and you know I've got to go to this firm and I've got to use their portal. I've got to go to this firm. I have to email them stuff and do woofu forms, and it's it's a constant trying to keep up with keeping everyone updated on my information, my licenses, my certificates, my experience, and I've always wanted to see if we could have one place where adjusters could go and put all their stuff in, and that's it, I'm done. All the firms now can see my stuff. And when we took a look at it, what we found was there is a bunch of information that adjusters put in that's public information. It's shared among all the firms, my address, my licenses, my certificates. And then there's information that's specific to the firm, like I signed their background authorization form or I sign their cyber awareness policy. What we've done is we created a portal that allows multiple firms and is built to handle all of the firms, biggest to the littlest. And it gives the firms state of the art um, software. It is, they can create ad hoc reports as they go. I mean, it's, it's exhaustive what it can do, but it keeps their information separate. A firm can't see another firm's roster, can't see another firm's you know, specific information on me, but all the firms get to see my stuff. And so, you know, we've been at this for about three years now. Um, we've had a couple of firms using this for, you know, six to eight months now with great success. We've got about 2,700 adjusters that use this. 
Um, one of the firms <laughs> got called us up and told us that they had set a new record. They got a, uh, a deployment request in uh, the day after uh, Delta hit for 50 people. And they met wow. that and from beginning to end had the roster over to the carrier everybody's on their way in less than two hours and wow. that in this industry is unheard of usually you've got 20 people in another room making phone calls trying to find people right so, right you know we've released it here to the public consumption uh, about three weeks ago and you know the information we're getting back is that you know people really like it you know we've been demoing a lot of the firms big ones down to little ones and they're all impressed with what we've got and think that this is the way the industry is going to go yeah yeah so and I, when we kind of like connected about this um i uh when you were describing it to me it sounded like pretty amazing right so in other words um, there's a lot of technology out there that is, that people come up with that I don't think really fits. Or, or, in other words, there's a, there's a lot of technology out there that is created to solve a problem that doesn't really exist or, or a problem that's already been solved by another piece of software. Um, it sounds like because of, to me, to, because of all of the, um, the technological changes that we have and the, the power, I mean, let's be, just be honest, I mean, the power of modern computing, um, we can start to create systems that are going to make our lives a lot easier on the IA side, um, on the firm side, and you probably even on the carrier side, especially if you're, I mean, if you're cutting down like days worth of work by dozens of people into a couple of hours with a few clicks, I mean, that's, let's be honest, I mean, that's kind of revolutionizing the, the way, you know, cat, events or maybe even daily assignments or you know those, those those are set up and people are deployed to those things um so it's pretty clear that you guys have, have put a lot of thought into this and a lot of development um let's talk a little bit about um from the, the independent adjuster side um how this looks to them and kind of how it can benefit an independent adjuster property adjuster adjuster or even an auto adjuster okay yeah, it's just set up for, for both. Uh, basically, we have a single portal, adjusterportal.com. You go there and you register. And once you're registered, you're presented with a list of IA firms that you can join their roster with a click of a button. You also have the ability then to go in and update all your profile information, all your experience, all your certifications, uh, any documents that you might have and all your licensing and we have actually because it can be you know kind of a drudgery if I've got 30 licenses and 60 LOAs to sit there and upload each individual one finding my PDFs we actually have partnered with NIPR and so we have a convenience function where you can click a button and it will grab your entire NIPR report and pull that in in a matter of 30 seconds. So wow. we tried to make this very easy, smooth, um, uh, demoed it yesterday. And, you know, the person I was demoing it to said, man, this is sleek. It's very easy to use. And, you know, of course, that makes us feel good because we feel like we did a good job then. Right. But um, what we're trying to instill in the industry is a new concept which is one place to go, it's the only place you need to go to, to stay updated and to get deployed because this system does, you know, the firms can deploy out of this system. They can search for you. Um, we have an open roster that you can click in, any roster that you're not on, that firm can actually search for you right down to the type of LOA you have, send your request to join and deploy you. Wow. So, and for, 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 for folks who don't know, um, what is an LOA? Okay, so we'll get to what an LOA is in just one second, but first I want to tell you about my friends at Kaplik. You should know by now that as insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance, right? When we're out handling claims, anything can happen, including mistakes. 
and people saying when we make mistakes when we really didn't. When you get a letter from a law firm saying that, that they think that you did something wrong, you've got to have somebody on your side to help you. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters for just this very thing. They understand our job and the risks that we face as adjusters, and that's why they offer very high quality, but very affordable errors and emissions insurance, as well as general liability. And if you want help understanding what those are and what other types of coverages you might need as an adjuster, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that's gonna explain these common types of insurances for adjusters. For folks who don't know, um, what is an LOA? Well, a line of authority. So South Carolina's licensing, you get an adjuster's license in, in uh, South Carolina, there are 11 LOAs or lines of authority that you can choose from. Crop, okay. marine, property, you know, workers comp, uh, the list goes on. Well, each one of those is a separate authority. By our pulling in that license and all of its line of authorities, what we're allowing the firm to do is to search their roster of 3,000 people and say, I'm looking for an adjuster in South Carolina that um, has worked property, wind and hail, and has a crop license, you know, LOA. And our system will search for that in a matter of seconds and bring back the six people that have that exact criteria for the firm. Well, let's talk a little bit about kind of how this can level the playing field um, across firms because you have a lot of big firms and then there's a lot of smaller like kind of boutique firms. How can this technology help those firms um, sort of be able to kind of play in the big leagues as it were? Oh, sure. Well, not only being an adjuster for well, what, the last 11 years, I've been an IT uh, developer for 44 years. So what we've looked at is your large firms, the, the big ones, the top five guys, they have their own in-house IT staff. I've heard at one point, one of them had 17 guys that were working on their in-house, you know, portal system, tracking and deployments, all of that. That over a period of five or 10 years, they're expending millions of dollars to build that system. Right. What we've done is spent the last three years developing a, a system that is uh, at least comparable to theirs. What we're hearing from them is ours even offers more. And so for them, it's, you're reducing the amount of overhead they have and all those IT guys by moving to our system. But for the small guy, the boutique um, IA firm that has, you know, 100, 200, 300 on his roster, for him to be able to compete at that upper level, he has to be able to offer the same type of service to the carrier. He needs to be able to deploy people, qualified, uh, compliant people, as soon as he gets those requests. The system pricing scales across the board. So that guy can get world-class software and it doesn't break his bank. So he's gonna play at the same level technologically as all the big firms will. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Anytime they're trying to deal with compliance, you know, handling adjuster certifications, handling the documents that adjusters have to sign for them, um, their licenses, making sure they're all updated. That, uh, that management, I mean, you know, <laughs> we had, oh shoot, 30 new adjusters sign up yesterday and they uploaded 2,200 licenses. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And on a daily <laughs> average, we'll see four, four to 600 new documents. So if you don't have an automated system like ours, how are you manually dealing with all of that? You know, you, you've got a makeshift system and the guy yesterday is like, well, we use, you know, our claims management system to do some of it. 
And then we have a piece on the inside, probably a database thing. Now we do the other, and he says, it's a nightmare. What we've done is we have taken the, the roster compliance and deployment systems that a firm has to deal with, and we put it under one roof, and we allow all the adjusters to attach to it. So as an adjuster's updating his information, it's updated instantly with all the firms. And so when it comes to deployments, I can run a report that literally shows me everybody that has the experience I need in the state that I need it with the licensing that I need it, worked for the same people I've, I want them to work. And I get that in seconds. And then I can just click on them and send deployment requests. All right. So, you know, it's just the automation of having it all integrated. So what do you feel like, or, or maybe this is, this might be an interesting question to, to tackle. So at least on the firm side, so what are some of the objections that you may have been hearing from firms when you present what this is, how it works and how it can benefit them? What's, have you been getting any pushback on that? The only pushback we've ever heard of and I've shown this to probably 10 firms now, big to little. The only question we've ever heard is, I don't want to put my proprietary roster in a system with other people. That's proprietary to me. You know, I guard my roster. Well, what we've been able to finally explain to these firms in a way that they understand is there is proprietary information and there's public information. I right. am on 10 different IA firm rosters, okay? So that means all of my licenses, all of my addresses, all of my certifications are on 10 different IA firms rosters. They're all the same. They're not proprietary, they're my public information. What's proprietary is firm A's background authorization firm B's background authorization, C's and so on. So once they understand that we are separating out proprietary stuff and keeping it secure and proprietary and allowing everybody to share the public information, that means firm A goes out and is on the phone with Rich Maring and gets Rich Maring to update his stuff Firm B through L gets the same benefit. They're all updated because I only have to do it once. So once they understand that, that it's separate, that their roster, no other firm can see who's on their roster or how big their roster is, and that all their proprietary information stays secure, they see the benefit. At that point, everybody goes, oh man, this thing is so exhaustive. And if you're keeping that separate, yeah, why wouldn't I do that? Because you have this open roster. Right now, they're having to put ads in LinkedIn or in uh, Facebook groups going, hey, you know, Aspen Claims is looking for, you know, a guy to go to Iowa with, you know, right, two right, right. blah, blah, blah. And they're out there fishing. Inside our, our uh, roster, we have the open roster. There are close to a thousand adjusters in there right now. So uh, what a uh, firm can do is they can pull up the open roster, search for that particular guy, and if he's in that open roster, send him a request to join your roster and then deploy him. So instead of fishing, you get to go looking. Right. So... So in other words, like, you know, from a practical standpoint, they say, you know, oh, we got some claims, we need to send people, to I some, you know, six people to Iowa. Um, they can jump into the open roster if they need to and check off a few filter items. Yes. Hit click and it'll show only people who are available for deployment. And then you can just like, maybe like, those are phone numbers, contact information, whatever, and then away they go, right? Exactly. Yeah. The demo I did yesterday, that was the last thing the guy said when he saw it. He's like, okay, so if I, you know, get an odd request for four people in Nebraska, he said, 
I can go in here and filter down to, you know, people that live in Nebraska that have this experience. I said, absolutely. And in about 30 seconds, you're sending them deployment requests. Yeah. Wow. Man, that, that's what I need. I, I think this is going to be pretty huge for firms. So tell us a little bit about how, if, if an IA firm who's watching this, um, somebody from like from HR or whatever, um, if they're interested in more information, what can they do? Where can they go? Well, the best thing to do is go to www.adjusterportal.com. And about halfway down that first page, you'll see a video. It's a it's an explainer video. It's about a minute and 30 seconds long. Watch it. It kind of shows you what we're talking about. And then under that is a form you can request a demo for. And we'll set up a Zoom meeting for a demonstration for as many people as you want to see it. And uh, it, the system, the system sells itself. The proof is in the pudding. Once you see it, <laughs> you'll understand why everybody's getting excited about it. Awesome. Now, what about for adjusters? Where can they go? Uh, adjusters go to the same site, adjusterportal.com. And there's a tab called adjusters up at the top, click on it. About halfway down, there's a register button that'll take you to our registration page. Register in the system. As soon as you register, you're brought into the system. First thing you do is click the open roster button so you're in the open roster. And then you will see firms whose rosters you can join and you just click the button called join now on each one of them and then start uploading all your information. So important, don't come and register and then not put your stuff in. If you don't put your stuff in, when firms are searching for specific you know, experience or license and yours, you haven't put yours in, you're never going to get deployed. The more you put in, the greater your chances for deployment because the system lets them search for everything, where you live, what your licenses are, what your experience is, what certifications you have. So please, when you go there, take the time to upload all your information. You'll only have to do this once a year at one place right. so another real quick question before we kind of like sort of wrap this up um i know that there are uh, a lot of carriers maybe you know maybe not a lot but there are some carriers out there some smaller carriers some regional or state uh you know carriers who don't use ia firms if they need right. they maybe they don't even have a claims department if they need adjusters they bring on uh, they'll hire an independent adjuster directly. Have you guys kind of reached out to carriers to see what their reaction is to this and if there's any benefit to those guys? Not yet, but we are planning on it because there are, you know, we're in Texas, there are a lot of small boutique uh, carriers down here at, that you know do hire independents directly. They could definitely benefit from the system because they could track those independent adjusters that they're using and deploy them out of the system. So yeah, we're we're looking at the system holistically. We believe that at some point, once the adjusters all come in, you know, you get 10, 15,000 adjusters in the system, you're gonna start getting all the firms. When you get all the firms, you get all the adjusters. Once we hit that threshold where everyone's using this one system that is designed for the industry, it changes the industry, we believe the carriers will start coming along and wanting to get involved in it because it makes sense for them. Okay, now for the the million dollar question, for adjusters, how much does this cost? I mean, what's the it pricing? It's absolutely free. Cost the adjuster nothing. Now, can adjusters afford it? Yeah, but we wanted to make <laughs> it free and it will always be free. The only time an adjuster would pay a dime in this system is if they wanted to use the NIPR convenience function. Instead of manually uploading all their licenses, which they can do and remain free, if they don't want to bother with that, for I think we it's $4.99 and a click of a button, all your licenses are in. And what we found, which I believed would happen, is about 67% of all new 
adjusters that register use that function because it's just so simple. Why haven't, or why are a lot of smaller IA firms and even medium-sized IA firms still using spreadsheets, WUFU forms, you know, uh, state license sites to manage their roster? The answer to that is because nobody had ever produced a unified system that does it all and offered it to all the IA firms. It's only the firms that have been able to individually build their own that have been able to benefit. So this is the first system on the market right now that allows any firm to get rid of their spreadsheets, their WUFU forms and uh, you know, document storage, et cetera, because the system is an integrated system and it's the first one that's being offered to the industry as a whole. Okay, next let's jump into Adjuster Portal and see what it's all about. I'm gonna set up a new profile for myself and then give you a tour of the entire Adjuster Portal dashboard. But before I get into that, let me tell you about one of our favorite sponsors, my friends at CCMS and Associates. CCMS is a fast growing firm that still feels like a small mom and pops firm. Why? because they don't treat their adjusters like just another number. CCMS and Associates is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting family. If you would like to become a part of the tribe, introduce yourself in an email to careers at ccmsclaims.com and don't forget to include your resume. Okay, jump into your favorite browser and head to adjusterportal.com. Click on adjusters up here at the top and scroll down to the bottom and click register. Fill in your deets here and hit next. Verify your account with your cell phone. Then here we are. On the left, you can see that we've got your main dashboard, your profile, your experiences, licenses, certifications, documents like driver's licenses and things like that support, and of course, log out. On the far right, you can see your progress in building your Adjuster Portal profile at a glance. Once you start putting licenses into Adjuster Portal, they'll start showing up on this map. In the center, you can sign up for firms and get on the open roster. So if you click here on the home button on these IA firms, you can see all the required and recommended documents that they have, the certifications and the training that they want you to have, complete with progress indicators so that you can see what you have left to do to be ready to work for each firm. Okay, so let's get a quick tour of each of these left side menu items. First, your profile. Here you can put in a photo, tell if you're available or not, like say over the holidays which is really the only time you should be unavailable, and other general preferences. And right here, you're gonna build out your claims experience. Click to add new experience, and you can see that it's kinda of like your resume. So you got the carrier you ran claims for, the firm, what were the start and end dates. So if you worked, like say, California Wildfire for seven weeks for Acme Insurance through Super Duper IA Firm, then put that in. I would add in comments here for sure, things like handled total loss, structural, residential fire claims in Napa Valley stuff like that. Then we've got licenses and straight up, the fastest and easiest thing to do here is to just drop in your national producer number, which is the NPN number, pay a $5 convenience fee and have it all upload automatically. Especially if you have like 34 licenses, it's the only thing you'll ever have to pay in here. And I mean, come on, five bucks to save you hours of copying and pasting and typing in, oh, nobody wants that. The next thing down here is your certifications. So we got things like California Earthquake, all of your carrier certifications, Xactimate certification, the Hague certification, IICRC, Rope and Harness, you name it. And this list grows all the time. And hey, look, here's Chris Stanley's IAPATH certification. If you have a valuable industry certification that you want added, just reach out to the support team at Adjuster Portal to get those added. Then you've got documents where you can add driver's licenses, birth certificates, and other forms of ID. And don't worry, the system is completely secure. It's at least as secure as the HR backends at all of those IA firms you've signed up for and sent them all your birth certificate and driver's license, right? And finally, you get support. You can create a support ticket right here if you're having any kind of issue with the system, and then you can log out. Well, why would you want to do that?
I'm not joking when I say that I think the Adjuster Portal platform will change our industry for the better. A unified portal where we as adjusters can build and be in control of our profile and be visible and searchable and say if we're not available or available. I mean, if you're on that open roster, any IA firm that has a need in your area can just click on you and get you going, right? I can't really think of a better way to connect available adjusters with firms that have like a right now need. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love riding along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself, Chris Stanley, Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School and soon to be others will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who will let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days, absolutely free, at AdjusterTVPlus.com. Adjuster TV is the premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career in claims. A career where you can help people in their time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to AdjusterTV.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.